Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. Bear with me, I have to do a voiceover. I um, lost all audio on this first part of the video. So I'm doing these beach ocean hearts. Um, these wood cutouts are from Michael's. I will put that down in my description box if you're interested in them. I usually buy them online in a four pack, I believe, or five pack. Um, so it's pretty economical that way, especially with the price of wood being what it is. So they're still pretty reasonable. So I'm showing you the box. Yeah, it comes in four. <laughs> All right. So these hearts um, are a bit of a process. Sometimes I hand paint them. Sometimes I just use resin on them. Sometimes I'll spray paint them and um, then do the resin portion of it. Today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing one that I spray paint and one with resin. I'm sorry, with one that's hand painted. So um, I'm using KS resin today. So I have a coupon code um, in my description box, TSR Creations, and you can save yourself 5% on their resin. So first part of this video, I'm going to show you how I paint, hand paint the background on one of the hearts and the other one I'm going to be spray painting. And originally I was going to be using a navy blue, usually that's what I use, to spray paint. And, but <laughs> unfortunately I was out of the navy blue so I spray painted it black and I decided to do like a black and gray heart which came out actually really pretty and I'm glad I did it. So what we're gonna be doing first is prepping our wood boards. You, I sand them. So I'll use a little sanding block to sand them. They're pretty smooth as it is, but you need to sand them a little bit, especially around the edges. And then on the for the beach, for the sand, I use Elmer's Glue All um, Unbleached Titanium Paint, which is a tan colored paint, and beach sand that I get on the beach. <laughs> so you can also order sand from, my, um, from Michael's or from Amazon, wherever you like, but I have a beach at my disposal. So I get my sand from there and that's how I make the sand portion. I'm going to show you that, um, how I make that. And it's pretty easy. The colors I'm going to be using. I have some Blue Lagoon teal from uh, Golden, some Oh, I have a prism pour there. I <laughs> see. I'm trying to keep up with what I'm doing. But anyway, I am going to be using some color art prism pours. So I have a coupon code if you want to use that to save yourself 20% all on anything on their website. Go ahead and do so. And yeah, so let's get started here. I'm going to be using a couple different um, pigments. This is Alumalite with Ocean Blue. Um, I also use the um, Unicone Art Moroccan Blue, Unicone Art Peacock Green, and I have some Bling It pigment, that's Stardust, which I usually add to the um, darker color. Um, yeah, so I have some Resin Art pigments. They're awesome pigments, and they are also by Color Art, just for their resin. The Bling It you can actually use in your paint pours as well as your resin. So let's get started here, and um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment, but I'll be in and out throughout the video trying to do this voiceover. I'm so upset when I saw that I lost all the audio. So, all right, guys, let's get started. Okay, so here I'm showing you the sand. I usually mix up a batch of it. I'm going to say I fill about halfway with Elmer's glue, pour a bunch of sand in it, and then the paint, and then just stir it up. Um, it does get pretty thick. I like it to be like almost like paste. And I'm going to show you the consistency here in a minute. But this is all I use and it helps hold all, all your shells and your glass onto your mixed media piece. Um, I do also, will I will um, drizzle a little bit of resin on it um, also just to secure it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I do the beach part and let's get started.
Okay, so you saw how I taped the back of this one, and that's just so you keep it clean and it'll peel off easily after you heat it up when the resin is um, fully cured on the back. On this other one, I decided to try this. Um, this is called paste, Minwax Paste Finishing Wax. Uh, I've tried it before. You have to be careful not to get it on the sides where the resin, where you want the resin to stick but it's just like a wax um, paste and you just put a little bit of around the edge and it's supposed to help the resin come off very easily at the end. So I'm gonna put it around the edge there and then I'm gonna be very careful not to get it on the sides because I don't want my resin to peel up and that's, I have used it before and that was the problem I had. So I'm gonna try it today with you guys because it is a great tool and um, saves you from buying the masking tape and cutting and taping. So let's give it a, let's give it a whirl. So I'm just going to put it on this other heart, and yeah. So I'm going to speed this up for you. Okay, so I finished that, and now I'm just going to use a little bit of alcohol to make sure I didn't get it on the edges that I want the resin to adhere to. So I'm just gonna wipe those down. I'm gonna sand a little bit, and we're ready to roll, okay? I just wanted to show you that um, you need to make sure that you don't get that wax on those sides, okay? All right, so I decided I'm going to paint the one and spray paint the other, like I said. So I'm just gonna use this little, I usually use this little egg carton to put my colors in. I'm using the Neptune's Gaze Prism Pour. I'm also gonna be using the Lagoon by Golden Fluid and the Thalo Turquoise by Golden Fluid. and then a little Artist Loft White. So I'm just gonna hand paint this with my paintbrush and that's about, that's it. So that's that's what I'm doing here. Um, I like to, so when I do this, I very rarely clean my brush off. I like to get the good blend and with the dry brush and I'll just use, make sure you get your sides. Um, and I'll just use the same brush and I get a really nice blend um, for my ocean colors. You'll see as I dip after I'm done with the darker color, I'll dip into the lighter colors and just blend it in and it, it actually um, blends really nicely and gives you a nice horizon line. Okay, but that's all I'm doing and I'll just speed it up for you. Okay, so now it's time to put the sand on. So I just use a stick and I use my hand a lot of times to do this. You just put a big glob on, it's really technical, I know, and then you um, just spread it around and I use my finger to make it um, pretty rough, but I'm just kind of showing you the consistency of the sand. And then after I put the sand down, I'll be putting shells and sea glass and all those pretty little details. I use, I also use sand mixed with, uh, what is it called? The crushed glass. It's called, um, oh my God, I'm going blank right now. 
but um, I will put it in my description box. It's crushed glass. Diamond dust. That's what it is. Oh my goodness. Okay. But anyway, I, I will sprinkle that on as well. But I'll try to link all my all my products in the description box. See how I'm just put like rubbing my finger, like tapping it? That gives that rough texture. And you'll have to do that a couple times just to keep it going um, to rough it up. Okay. So I'm going to speed this up for you. And yeah, I'll meet you on the other end. Okay, so I have all my goodies. These is crushed glass. It's like vase filler. I believe I got bought, bought this on Michael's as well. So you can, it's turquoise. I have all different colors, but today I'm using the turquoise. So I'll just, I'm gonna take my glove off to help me because it's easier to grab the pieces. And it's just this crushed glass. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on. And then I have some shells and a little starfish. And then I always put at least one real shell that I find. I walk on the beach and I like to find shells, different shells. So I always at least put one real shell that I found on these pieces. Um, this is the sand and the diamond dust, like I was telling you. So I'll just be sprinkling that on and it just gives it a pretty, pretty um, shine. And sparkle. I'm all about the sparkle. Um, I have some other crust, crust clear glass. I believe this is also vase filler from Michaels. So put a little of that on. What else do I have? Oh, and then I have these small little seashells. Bought these on Amazon. And you know, there's no right or wrong here. You can put whatever you want on here. You can put one big shell if you want. Um, I like to do the little shells and then one nice size shell. Or a starfish, like I have these bigger starfish that sometimes I will use. Okay, and there's the little baby starfish. I got these on Amazon as well. They are real and they're very delicate. They, they like to break, so you have to be careful with them. And then I have my real shell. There's my real shell. So that's it, and I'm gonna let this set up a little bit, and I'm gonna go and spray paint the other heart, and then we'll get started with the resin portion. Um, I will also be have to do the beach on the, uh, the other heart as well, so I don't know if I film that or not, but look how pretty, very pretty. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, here's the other heart. Like I told you, I ran out of blue spray paint, so I decided to do the black. I was just gonna do the beach, but then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do a gray and silver one. And like I said, I'm really happy I did. So here, I'm, you just see me, I'm doing the same thing as I did to the other one, putting on the beach and all the shells and all the fun stuff. So we are ready for the resin part. 
So I would say these little hearts probably take about, I would say three ounces of resin. I give myself at least three ounces per heart. Um, it may be a little less, but I just like to have extra. So I'm going to mix up about six ounces, I believe here. I may mix up a little bit more and I use it on something else, but um, you just want to mix up your resin according to your directions. This is a two-part resin that I'm using, the KS resin again. I have a coupon code if you'd like to use it. I always put in the hardener portion first because that is a thinner um, consistency. And then I put in the resin portion. It's just thicker and just, and then it kind of goes down a little bit easier through the, through the hardener. So you just want to mix this up without keeping, keeping your stick in there, trying not to to take it out too many times because that's what causes the air bubbles. So just slowly mixing. Of course, you have to take your stick out to wipe it off and continue to stir. But this, you know, stir it for at least mine is about three minutes. And what I usually do is listen to a song that I like. And then when it's over, I know I'm ready to use the resin. All right, guys. So the resin is fully mixed and now I'm going to separate it into little cups and tint them to the colors that I'll be using. So on the heart that I hand painted, I'm just going to be using clear and the white and I use Alumalite white for my beach waves. On the black one, I decide to use a charcoal black um, from Unicone Art. I think it's called Blackbird. And then I also use the same Blackbird with white mixed to make a silvery gray. And then the white for the white waves. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up the different color pigments that I have. There's the Blackbird. And then um, you never want to keep all your resin in one cup. You want to kind of separate it because it does, if it heat, it starts to heat up faster if it's all kept in one cup. So that is a little tip for you. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay, so it's all mixed up and I'm ready to roll. So I'm just putting the black down. And I usually um, will just move it around with my hand. I'm gonna put the silver down. And then I just use my gloved hand to make sure um, I'm getting all the sides and everything like that. So, and to blend the um, colors together. And then obviously you need to heat this up. So you have to use your hot air gun or your torch or whatever you like to use when you're doing your resin. Just remember guys to always be safe and make sure you're in a well-ventilated area wear gloves, mask, obviously. I was talking through this one, so I wasn't wearing my mask, but um, I usually do if I'm doing a lot of resin. You just wanna be safe. All right, so I'm just blending them together, and then I'm leaving that little bit of the black exposed, and I'll be putting clear down there. So I'll be putting the clear at some point. Oh, I'm gonna heat it up first, okay. Oh, it's so hard when you're doing these voiceovers. Okay, so I heated it up 
and then I'm going to put the clear, I think. Okay, oh, okay, I'm using my, okay, I'm using the blower on cool. So I have it on the cool setting and I'm just kind of blowing it around. You can do this with a hairdryer as well if you don't have a heat gun that has a cool setting. All right, and then I'm putting the clear down finally. <laughs> And I always put the clear down and then I'll put the white right at the tip of it or at the base of it. And that's where you blow the white over the clear. All right. Make sure you get your sides. And then I'm taking the, I'm gonna heat it up a little bit, just a, just a second. Okay, pop some bubbles. And then you're gonna put the white down right at the beach line at where the clear ends, the clear resin ends. Okay, and then, some, and then sometimes I go around the top and I do this, yep, I go right around the top there. And then you're gonna you're gonna use your blower. So I have this on a war, a heat setting, and I'm just blowing it out. And then I use I just keep blowing to create the movement I like. All right. And then after you do that, I always take my torch and I just go over real quickly to break it up to break up those little cells right there. You see. And that that's it. So I'm gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the clear and the white on the beach heart, on the ocean heart. And, uh, oh, I always play with it a little bit too. I'll like drag some of the white through, you know, just to make some interest in there. Um, also, these will get another coat. They'll get a, each get another coat of clear and white. So I do show you that, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna speed that part up, but tomorrow, when these are dry, they get another coat. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna let you finish the video here with the voiceover, because I do have part of the video when I come back to show you that my 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 uh, audio did work. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, I hope you'd enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. But it's not over yet. Continue watching. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And yeah, thanks guys. this one is but I am going to be doing another coat I'm going to be just doing clear and I may do the white I'm not sure on this one definitely on this one um, but look how pretty that is all right guys so my audio cut out on me again um, but anyway I just wanted to show you these and I wanted to show you um, this one was the one that I taped I'm going to continue to leave the tape on there because I'm going to be doing the next the next layer. But on this one, this was the one that we used the paste on. So I want it to take off the drips before I do another layer just in case it's not working and I need to tape it. So let's see how easy these are to get off. Wow, that one came off. Well, that was there was no resin on that one. But it does come off pretty easily. I just use a little X-Acto knife and flip them off and they come off really easily. So that's great. It's a huge time saver, especially if you do odd shaped wood items with resin like I do. I do like seahorses and 
um, turtles and stuff like that. So this will be a great time saver where I don't have to tape the whole, and the, like a mermaid and stuff like that. It's really a pain in the butt to tape. So this is a good product to use. So yeah, it's a winner. Okay, so I mixed up my resin. I mixed up plenty of resin because I have other things to do today. Um, but this is just going to be clear and the white. So I'm going to take out a little cup, if I can find just a little cup. <laughs> and put some in for the white. Okay, that's enough for that. And I'm using the Illumilite white that I used before. Let's shake it up. And stir it. Let it incorporate very well. So I'm just going to pour some clear on the black heart. Warm it up. Pop air bubbles, warm it up. And let's spread it out. Get your edges and your sides. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now, like that, and do the other one. Um, and use your heat gun just to pop some air bubbles. And let's do the same thing to this baby. Okay, and then let's spread this one. Okay. I think I am going to add a little white to the black. So we're going to put a little here. And maybe I'll do one up there. Ooh, I'm making up too much there. But let's just go this way with the black. Okay. And we're going to heat it up. And then we're going to blow it with the heat gun.
And then I use my torch to break up some of the bubbles. Okay. And that is pretty much it on those. Okay, so second coat is complete. They look beautiful. And I'm gonna show you how, well, let's see how easy it is to get the drips off. For this one, I know it's just a matter of heating it up and slowly peeling the tape. This one is the one we used the paste finishing wax on and it did work well the first time. And this is the second coat. I did take the drips off the first time, add it more. And let's see how well it comes off. And that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video hope it gave you a um good idea to try to make or use this idea on something else so yeah all right guys take care and i'll talk to you all real soon Bye bye